Welcome to Springfield, Illinois. <laughs> First up is the Abraham Lincoln home. Each and every president of the United States of America left behind a legacy for everybody to look back and learn from. So the other homes you'll see in the neighborhood, which was fine for the family at the time, is Barry and their baby Robert. But three of their kids were born in this home, so as their family would continue to grow, they'd make several expansions. But I like to tell that story, and not only because I think it's interesting, but I think it also shows how much Lincoln loved his boys and how much he loved to spend time with them and dote on them. So you notice, and that's this wallpaper. What are our thoughts on the wallpaper? Do we love it? Do we hate it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, it's nice. I love it. Yeah. I saw some thumbs up. Some people don't like it. That's okay. Whether we like it or not, the Lincolns must have liked it because this is the only original wallpaper pattern that we have in the entire house. It's the only original wallpaper pattern. A piece of it was found and removed during restoration processes, reproduced, put back up on the walls for his French design, probably influenced by Mary. That is the Lincoln's original approximately 600 pound cast iron stove. Probably still here because no one wanted to move a 600 pound <laughs> cast iron stove, but at least now we get to enjoy it. The Lincolns would have purchased this in 1860. They would shortly leave for the White House in 1861. This historic house was the only home that Lincoln ever owned. Although Lincoln was born in Kentucky, grew up in Indiana, he was buried in Illinois where he had developed a strong community ties. He said that Springfield is my home and there more than elsewhere are my lifelong friends. And visitors from around the world have stopped to rub the nose of the statue for good luck. Downtown Springfield is a busy mix of craft breweries, trendy coffee shops, and modern American restaurants, as well as art galleries, antique stores, and fashion boutiques. Here, you will also see the Old State Capitol Building. It was built in the Greek Revival style and served as a state house from 1840 to 1876. And of course, we have to visit the new building of the Illinois State Capitol. The first legislative session was held here in 1877. As we step inside the grand halls, dozens of architectural details satisfied my multi-sensory mind. This is the tallest capitol building constructed in the classical style. The architecture of the building is truly stunning with intricate details and beautiful finishes throughout. The exterior of the building alone is worth the visit and ranks as one of the most beautiful state capitol building in the United States. It was raining that day and puddles of water everywhere, but that won't stop us from exploring this beautiful garden. This is the Thomas Rees Memorial Carillon which consists of bells played during public concerts and community events. Abraham Lincoln lived as a young adult in this village before moving to Springfield. This historic site is the imaginative recreation of the Log Village. This structure is generally regarded as the community's oldest, dating back to 1829. Lincoln's first love, Anne Rutledge, lived here, but died young from typhoid. As you walk New Salem's pathways, you'll get a glimpse of life in an 1830s trading center. Once New Salem began to prosper, this structure was converted to an inn and tavern where travelers could enjoy a meal and a bed. And for our last stop, we headed to Motherhead's Bar and Grill, which was initially built as Stuckey's gas station in 1971, home to the world's largest Route 66 shield. At first glance, it looks like a junkyard turned into a museum. But I'm telling you, 
judge not. This place is rich in history. A visit here is a step back in time to another era, a place where you can view plenty of memorabilia from the good old days. And don't forget to stop by the restaurant to grab some delicious bite. Thank you for watching and see you on our next travel. Bye!